Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Merry effing Christmas. <laughs> Guess we're all really happy. So, uh, the conundrum, we have elf ears we have on. Elf, elf hats, elf ears. But, unfortun- <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, they because... They're transparent. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, because they're green and red, uh, uh, it messes with our green screen. So we'll be taking these off in a couple of that's minutes. That's all good, man. It's all good. It's, it's, it's the what does it say? It's the thought or the spirit. Yes, yeah, the, the spirit of the of, uh, the spirit of has the moved holi- us of the holidays. Yes, yeah, so um, of the holidays. I'm so, what they call first, the, first of all, I want to say Mary. Oh, Mary, 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 we're gonna spread. See, this is what so, it's gonna be on today. So we're not gonna be. Yeah, here we are. We're gonna be bashing a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna bashing, do a little Christmas, Christmas Eve Christmas bashing. Christmas bashing. Yes. Christmas bashing. Bashing. Yeah, so uh, uh, I want to I want to just say I've been thinking about these these elf ears all day. Uh huh. So I would be called a jelf because I'm a Jewish elf, <laughs> and you'd be called a belf. A belf because you're a black elf. <laughs> so the jelf and the belf That's today a, will be uh, coming to you live. Coming <laughs> to you live on Talk Real Get coming Real. To you live, and we gonna we gonna switch we gonna switch it up. We gonna uh, you gonna venture out to Santa's house in a few minutes uh, after we get the show started. <laughs> We're gonna take these uh, these hats off. Oh uh, goodness! Uh, uh, so they're just not working. No, I don't know. No, I, not, not, I was all excited with all these just the whole elf thing, and uh, uh, Rachel picked this out. These these elf hats, you know. Uh-huh. And what's kind of funny is they're red and green. It almost looks like a Freddy Krueger sweater. <laughs> like whoever created Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Must have been like it must have been during the Christmas time uh, or whatever, because that's the same color as the see Christmas, it, man. man. I can see it. You put an elf hat on him, and he's an elf. I can see it. He's man, just a burnt that, elf. That is definitely some stress around this time of the holidays, man. It's supposed <sighs> to feel be like Freddy Krueger, right? Dude, I'm supposed I'm supposed to be chilling. I'm off for four days and chilling, and and, and you know. And, and how, being many, relaxed. how many people cut you off today? How many people cut oh, you off yesterday? Oh my God! How hard was it to not get out of the car and want to smack? Oh somebody? my God! To just to, to yell of it, uh, just you just gotta be courteous to people. And it's just man. Merry Christmas. Yeah, but That's everybody's so 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 enamored with the rat race about going going to here, going here, going here, going here, and getting stuff and getting stuff and getting stuff and getting stuff. And stuff. They missed the whole point of this whole season. Yep, is to be around people. Like-minded people, people that you love, and just enjoy some and be thankful for what you have, and just chill. It's about jelfs. It's about belfs. <laughs> <laughs> it's about kelfs. Yep. That's Korean elves. Korean elves. Uh, yeah. Elves. Chelfs. Which chelfs. Is Chinese elves. Yep. It's about this whole conglomerate of elves, elves just getting together yes. and sharing some and love. Working, working together to make this holiday what it is. Which yes. Is, which is. About peace and love. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> hang on tight, everybody. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a bumpy it's ride. It's going to be a bumpy ride tonight. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, so we're going to get the show started. <laughs> uh, Let's see where this takes us. Yes, yes. Uh, so, hang tight, everybody. Uh, Let's get uh, ready for another Talk Real Get yeah, Real. Yeah, it's a Christmas Eve special. We'll talk Real <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Okay. See, the elf hats still look like crap. I'm <laughs> so disappointed. I was all excited. I got everything ready. Uh, it's all good, man. It's all good. So uh, before we start, uh-huh. I definitely want to do some advertisement. Oh, all right. All right. So uh, we got some paid advertisements. Yes. Finally. So uh, we got some stuff that's coming in, which I'm really happy about. Uh. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna uh, shoot that over. That makes me nuts, but there we go. Uh-huh. CradleCon, all right. So yes. CradleCon uh, 2019 is going to be June 1st and June 2nd. Um, please don't miss it. We're going to be doing our uh, our demonstrations, kung fu demonstrations, lion dance. You guys get to see a Chinese lion dance. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I got to say, out of all the, the cons that we do, mm-hmm. CradleCon by far is one of the best. Um, Seamus is amazing. He helps out. He gets everybody where they need to be, and I gotta say he is—he's so, so professional. Happy. He's so yeah. He's professional. He's, pro- he's professional. He's very very courteous. He's always happy, always smiling, even though the pressure's on him all the time. Mm-hmm. So um, I there's def- so many diverse people there. Oh so, God, it's crazy. Showcase stuff that it is very difficult to keep that 
uh, that kind of uh, scheduled, everybody happy, and, and all the people come there, they're happy and everything running straight. So that is a job that I definitely don't want. Because <laughs> that is a hard job yeah, to do. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. that he's got I'm, that I'm job. happy just teaching martial arts. So uh, we're definitely going to definitely, so thank you so much. So again, CradleCon, don't miss it. Yes. This is volume two, the second CradleCon that they've had, June 1st, June 2nd. 2019 we will be there don't miss us yep. um iron fist will be there and uh we're gonna have a good time Maybe so black panther be there too. i'm hoping black panther <laughs> be there that'll be cool yeah. have black panther be there yeah. that'll be cool um and other than that guys just uh you know be there be there yes. be there and support it's important um we have another one that's uh that's really important to me and i'll explain you i'll explain to you guys why um I've been looking for a new supplier of martial arts equipment, mm -hmm. and I have to say, this man right here, uh, his name is Ali, um, King King Martial Arts Supplies. The guy did a great job. Uh, well, I'll actually show you guys what we got. What did he, he make on? Oh, oh he made uh, yeah. the so, sign up. Uh, boxing gloves. Boxing gloves. So yes. 16 ounce boxing gloves. Ounce. These days are badass. So they man. are. Ain't nobody else got these on the planet. No, 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 man. These are ours. These are ours. So uh, I love these things. These are great. 16 ounces. Yep. Um, and they are. Uh, and they're tough. They hold up. They hold up. They hold up. And that's what he they call sublimation. Yep. He di he designed them well. Yep. He designed them he himself. Designed them well. So I definitely want to um, hit him up. He. Uh, he definitely did the right thing by me. He hooked us up. So anybody out there that's in the martial art world, which I know all of you guys are that are watching the show, definitely check this man out. When you see him or when you call him, tell him that you heard it from our show, Talk Real, Get Real, <clears throat> and Sifu Greg and Sifu Lloyd from mm -hmm. the Authentic Shaolin Kung Fu gives us gives gives regards. Uh, he might hook you up with a uh, you know he might hook you up with something. Um, as far as maybe a you know maybe a promotional deal or something like that, but um, definitely let him know that we sent you over there, um, and it would be it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, we're trying to throw some business his way. Yeah, like man. I said, he's a good guy, he's a good man. So, um, other than that, we are going to switch gears, and uh, that's it for our uh, for our advertisements. Advertisements. Yeah, yeah man. And here we are Ooh. <laughs> at the North Pole. Oh, damn, starting cold. Oh, <laughs> freezing cold. here, right? Uh. So I definitely want to say, uh, guys, thank you very much. I know it's oh Christmas. wow, some people are on there already. Yeah, man. And you see, and you and you think nobody was gonna watch us. I Christmas really Eve. didn't. I really, I don't think anybody wants to hang out with some Jelf and some Belf, man. Hey, on, man, they, you know. on Christmas Eve, but you got to check out these shirts, oh, right? Yeah, we what got. Does it say? Uh, can you read it? I hope they can what read does it. What does it say? It says, "This just in." You're an idiot. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we got <laughs> not not you. You're talking about <laughs> uh, so uh, you know. So we got uh, we got our hats, which yes. are the happy, friendly side of this, and then we have our our shirts, which are the grimy part of what yes. we do, right? Because yes. we want to uh, definitely uh, definitely put it out there for everybody. But um, in the meantime. I do want to say some shout outs. I see a whole bunch of people that are on here right now, so I want to definitely make some shout outs. Uh, Sifu Raul, who is on here all the time, yes. sir, thank you so much for your support. Yes. Um, thank you for being that uncle that always pushes and uh, pushes the younger ones through and, you know, carries the torch and always shows um, how to be and how to display yourself as a proper Sifu. So thank you so much for always supporting. It means the world. Um, uh, Ed, Eddie Pasquale is watching. Rachel, Rachel, how are you? Thank you for watching. Um, Shane Rowan, what's sure. up, brother? From South Carolina. Actually, he's in Florida right now sure. visiting family. Ah. Um, David Flores. Hey, what's hey, up, hey. bro? Oh, is that, uh, yeah, that's, that's Refrigerated Dave? That's Refrigerated Dave. Refrigerated Dave. <laughs> I'll always remember you that way. I'm sorry, brother. Um, uh. That's, uh, Shane said, what's up? What's up? What's up? Amber Rose, my daughter's on. How are you? Hey, baby. Um, Yadi, Yadi's watching, <laughs> laughing at us. That's okay. You know what? That's why That's we're wearing why we the hats. That's why we got the hats on. That's why we're wearing the hats. Yeah. You know, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Yeah. Uh, Debbie Vega, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you. Um, and Gregory's on here. Nice. Valetti. So thank you guys for uh, for watching on a Christmas Eve day. I appreciate it. Um, I'll even wear this hat for the rest of the time. <laughs> See, but now it's blue now, so... Oh, okay. No, it's blue. Look, if I dip deeper, it's white. I know. Well, 
so it's better because <laughs> I don't got nothing behind it. But it kind of I was hoping we had the Freddy Krueger look, but we miss we're you missing miss, the green. Miss the, yeah, the green screen. I wasn't yeah. thinking, man. That's I'm sorry. That's all good, man. That's all good. I'm yeah. lucky I didn't get shirts that were green. I was going to get Christmas, like the ugly Christmas shirts. We'd be see-through. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to wear them. So. You know, but around this time of year, you do so much, so much, just to make people happy uh. that you, you can't do everything. You miss out on, on something. And for me, I want to make people happy, but I don't want to get to the point where it, that it just becomes a job. It shouldn't be a job. To do all that stuff to, just to make people happy, make the kids happy, make the family happy, make you know, all these people happy. And at the end of the day, you're sitting in, in uh, on the toilet like this. <laughs> yeah, cause did hoping I do, everything goes hoping right, everything's right? Going, wow, did I do this? Did I do that? You know, and you know, that's, no, that's, no, that's not what the holiday is about. You, know? yeah, you got to find time in there to chill. Yeah, Christmas is about really just kind of being amongst people. It's not about gifts. It's not about presents. And it really isn't. You know, as you get older, you start to realize it's really not. It's not about yeah, any of that. I don't care if I don't get anything. For yeah, Christmas. It's nothing. nothing. If I got nothing and I just had. If I got time to chill and people leave me alone, <laughs> that's the best present <laughs> on earth. <laughs> if I had people around me for Christmas, that's it. That would be happy. That's, yes. that's all I need. Yes. You know, that and my almond milk eggnog. Almond milk eggnog? Almond milk, yeah, because you know me. I don't, oh, yeah, I don't you do can't, good you with can't deal with the lactate. Uh, <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Hi, my name is Greg, and I'm lactose intolerant. Hi, Greg. So, um, so you <laughs> welcome, Greg. <laughs> Would you like to share? Would you no. like to share? No. no. <laughs> uh, I'd like to keep my my lactose intolerant to myself. Thank you very much. Um, but oh goodness, yeah. So, but as you can tell, we 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 having some 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 fun tonight. Because uh, that's what it's about. You know, it's about enjoying, enjoying life, enjoying uh, the accomplishments that we that we made throughout the year, and looking forward in the accomplishments that we want to have in the next coming year. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's that's what that's why you know we're a little bit more giddy tonight. We're a little bit more you know uh, uh, carefree tonight because you know because everything is going wrong. <laughs> Right? It's because everything's going wrong. Yeah, but you, know, you got to laugh that shit off, yeah, man. Yeah, you got to laugh, you you laugh it off, you man. You got to push through it and you, you got to make it work. It. Um, but I do want to do my, my, my Jelf thing. All right, yeah, do My you, Jewish elf do thing. Do you Jelf, man? Yeah, man. So definitely, guys, if you haven't downloaded the app yet, yes. even if you're not part of my school, download the app. The app is so awesome. It's got videos. It's got Instagram. It's got Facebook. It's chock full of information. And it's got, if anybody out there that knows somebody that wants to train, we have a special New Year's deal, which is more than 50% off for the first month. What? Yes. But then I have to show my other Jewish side of me. <laughs> so we'll take, uh, let me... Uh, I'll take that off for right now. But uh, yeah, but if you guys have a chance, it's got, it's got more than 50% off for the first month. I have DVDs on there if you wanted to purchase what? a Tai Chi DVD. And it's not DVDs anymore. Yeah, it's we a little stepped USB. It up. We stepped it up. Yeah, the little USB zip drive. So if you guys you know want a zip drive, I got the Tai Chi, Tai Chi Straight Sword. Um, you know, if there's anything that you guys need, we definitely have it here. And it's definitely on the, uh, it's definitely on the app. Yeah. If you want to pay for tuition, it's on the app. Oh, man, you, you done you done went full circle with the. I did, uh, I did. You created a monster, hey. but but in creating a monster, we also have to and put this all, up to all over. these opportunities <laughs> for these students, man. Yeah, over fifty percent off of the first month Ooh, if you download the app for new students. For new students only, cannot oh, be combined damn. with See, other I promotions or offers. I thought I was in. I thought I was, was going to get an early Christmas present or something. <laughs> so, and I got to say it this way: <laughs> over fifty percent off of that for only new students only cannot be combined with other offers or oh, yeah, like, like, like that crazy Eddie commercial. Yeah. <laughs> You got to catch it. It's so fast. You got to stop it and rewind it. What the hell did he just say? Oh. Uh, so, yeah. So, definitely, uh, that's just, uh, well, I'm just going to put that out there. And, you know, so if you guys get a chance, definitely check the uh, check the app out. It's right there. Type it in when you can. You're on your phone. Just check it out, man. Just check, check it out. out. It's, got, um, it's got a lot of good stuff. And if other martial artists are out there and you guys are looking to try to step up your game as far as, 
um, promoting yourself and marketing, and stuff this like is that. this is the way to go because yeah. this has been great for me. They give you a very generic app, but I've really been really working the yeah, hell out of this you app. Can, you can customize it, do whatever you need yeah, to do to you it. You just got to really be you know, patient. You um, just got to you know post it out there. And yep. for some people, it doesn't seem like it's a good investment, but if you're constantly on, and we were talking about this last time, if you constantly got your social media game up, then this stuff you can put on your videos, you can put on your on your Facebook posts, you can put on Instagram posts, because this man will be blasting that app everywhere. Yeah, so if you think everywhere. Of, if you think about it, for martial artists that are out there, how many times do you guys go to a restaurant and somebody says, Hey, you know, I noticed your shirt, what do you do? You have a card on you. Mm -hmm. And every time you don't have a card on you, but you have your phone on you. So now I carry cards and I carry my phone on me all the time. So when somebody says, oh, what do you do? So instead of trying to explain it, because most people... Yeah, because you'll never get it. Most people don't understand <clears throat> verbally what you're talking about because you're so passionate about the martial arts that it's just talking in a different language to them. <laughs> you just click on the app, click on your videos, and boom, you got your videos up. You show them all the videos that you want. You got phone, you, get, you hit uh, hit the Instagram that's on there. All of a sudden, boom, that comes up too. You get all the stuff that you need up there. Um, and it's right at your fingertips really, really quick. So if you're looking to, to snatch, you know, to, to snatch a possible student at a Chinese restaurant because somebody's talking to you at a pizza restaurant or mm -hmm. wherever you go to talk, this is the way to do it, you know. And then you can share the app immediately. You give them the, they give you their number, boom, you send it right to them. And now they have it on their phone yeah. permanently. And you got uh, students that say, oh, man, I was wondering. And I was, oh, here, here's the app. Yeah. And they may not call you because that's how people are. You know, they was like, oh, I was always, always interested. You hand them a card, and you don't hear from them for like a year or two. Yeah. How you long know? How long did you have your I had. I, I was one of I had a card for like a year, a year yeah. and change. Yep. You know? But this is the beautiful thing about seeing about the app because now he sees who, who goes on the app. Oh, you just ruined it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. But... Yes, he's like Santa Claus. He knows who's <laughs> know, naughty yeah. and knows who's nice. So he's, he it comes up with a list of uh, yeah, of, who, you know, who tapped, what you tapped, who tapped um, you know? what time. Um, and if you if you put your email or something in there, you know you you can uh, shoot uh, promotion to you through your yep. email and things like that. So just in case you know you don't hear from the person two weeks from that, like, oh, don't forget. We got the special. Bing! Yep. And Send it right it to them. So yep. it's kind of like remote guerrilla marketing, kind of, but, you know. It's it's gentle guerrilla marketing. It's gentle guerrilla marketing. Because if you hand, hand somebody a card, it's great. But you hand out 5,000 cards, and how many people are going to actually be calling you? Not, no, not the 5,000, that's for sure. So it's a way to hand your, hand your cards out, but also get some kind of return because you can, can keep uh, reminding people and, and getting in people's faces, which is kind of will be uh, annoying after a while, but <laughs> you got to get that, that number of that person. It's like, you know what? Now's the time to do it. You know, and that's, that's how, that's how marketing works. Yeah. You yep. see it so many times. It's like, Oh, you know what? Let me just, let me just hit it. Let me just hit it. Let Check, just it, hit out. it. Check it out. And I, uh, I went on Instagram and I actually posted on Instagram. I posted my thing mm -hmm. and I also have on the bottom, the minute you click on it to, to shop now or whatever. Cause I posted a, sh you know, come down and, um, you know, check out the the packages that we have and everything else. The minute you click on shop now, it brings you right to the app. Mm. So, you know, it costs a little money to do, but you know what? In the yeah, long but run, the return is gonna, you yeah. Know. In the long run, I have three students that I possibly had contact me already that want to come down and try out the first month yeah. for their, you know, for their yeah, special offer. That, that's where it's at nowadays, man. That's where it's at. Everything is online. Nobody, again, I mean, nobody knows about the yellow book. They, they, you know, you hand them their card. Oh, thank you. They put it in their wallet. Then, you know, night when they got they eating their popcorn, they, they pick their teeth with it. You know, <laughs> and then they, they throw it out. And that's what they do. And you know, they, you know, they, they, they you know, they clean their, their fingernails with your card and stuff like that. No, you know, nobody uses the card anymore. Everybody finds stuff online. So if yeah. you can find a way to take advantage of the internet, take it. Take advantage because it's of it. free. Take it. It's free. Take exactly. it from a jelf. Yes. <laughs> take it from a Jewish yeah. elf, man. Yes, it's the free. Big, the biggest jelf on the shelf. Yes. The <laughs> jelf on the shelf, dude. Jelf on the shelf. Oh my God! I think we just came up with something. Yep. A jelf, jelf. A Jewish elf on the shelf. On the shelf. A shelf. A belf. Yep. Now they can have a black elf and a Jewish elf shelf. hanging out. Yep. A oh jelf no. on the shelf. Sitting on a shelf with a big piggy bank on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> so now if we see that next season, can we sue them? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody out there was watching, they're creating a jelf. 
And it's going to have a goatee. Goatee, yeah. Shelf. <laughs> little Jewish shelf. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, God, I'm sorry. So, uh, uh, I definitely want to say uh, hello to Malcolm Payne. I hope uh, training is going well with you. Merry Christmas to Merry you, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Ed, Bian, I hope you're, uh, hope you're having a very happy holiday as well. And, guys, thank you so much for being on here. Again, It's I know it's Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, but they're home. They're chilling. They I know, but it's, it's actually really, really cool. And I, I'm just, I'm really, uh, just really happy that we got some people on here that are watching and being a part of it. I think that's really, really cool. Um, so thank you very much for, for being here and being a part of it. Um, I, we definitely want to, uh, definitely want to say that um, getting to the end of the year, you know, with, with our show, and we've had our show on now for two years. A year. A year. A year. Yeah. We've had our show on for a year now, um, and I got to say we have lots and lots of videos um, that are archived mm -hmm. on the YouTube channel um, and on Facebook. So if you guys get a chance, definitely uh, check it out. If you haven't, um, if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, there's a lot of good insight. <laughs> there's a lot of joking going on. Um, there's also a lot of seriousness going on because yeah, we're here man. to try to educate the public. But I have to say, and in the whole, in the year that we've been doing this, um, I have to say it's been uh, it's been a, it's been a wonderful ride, you know, so far. And this is just the beginning, you know. This is just the beginning. We're we're educating the public in martial arts. We're educating the public. There's actually a couple of people out there doing podcasts, you know, and they yeah, they man. talk about a lot of stuff. And you know, I don't think they they talk about the nitty gritty as much as they should. But they, you know, they're out there, and you know. Well, everybody talks about stuff that's most important to them, right? And we get that, and that is uh, exactly what you should do, you know? But if you're talking about, and this is the thing with talk shows uh, or podcasts or whatever you want to call it, especially you know, if you got uh, people presenting n news about certain things, the people that are interviewing, the people are, that are bringing these stories to light, try to stay as impartial as they can. <laughs> <laughs> try, try, try. Uh, because they don't want to taint the view and the reality of what the of the subject that they're talking about, you know. But you know, here you got two guys who are passionate about the martial arts, and the, the show is talk real, get real. So, but we're passionate about the stuff, but we want to bring it to you in a light where, yes, we talk about McDojo's and Burger Quads and things like that, but we're talking to you about the realities of of things. So, yes. I'm an avid Kung Fu stylist. I love Kung Fu. In my mind, there's nothing better than Kung Fu on the planet. But what do we feature? We feature Kung Fu. We feature karate. We feature all this kind of stuff. We feature MMA. We yeah. feature everything. And right. you know, and because we, it's real martial arts. And we post it up there and we say, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. You know, so we, we try to be, you know, we try to be as, as open as possible to everything and every style that's out there. But within every style and with every, every system, without, within every teaching that's out there, you've got crap. And you yes. know what? You want to stay away from crap, yes. <laughs> right? You don't want to step in <laughs> That's it. That's the main so, message. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't want to step in it, you know, every yes. time you see doo-doo on the floor, you walk around yep. it. So why right. would you walk into a school or, that's or, doo -doo? or if you're smart, you pick it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, with a bag. With a bag, yeah. Um, but, you know, again, you don't want to... If you don't want to step on it with your feet, you sure as hell don't want to walk into a school of it. No. So, uh, you know, or bring your child there because it's around the corner, right? These are the things that... That just completely yeah. make me nuts. And, to, and for me, to this day, I find it totally crazy that parents still nowadays don't care. Some parents actually don't care. Don't care what type of school they're bringing their child to. As long as the child is happy, having fun, learning stuff and getting belts, they could care less if what they're learning is actually applicable to what they can use in terms of self-protection, self confidence uh, combat, making them better people, they could care less. Which is crazy. Which is crazy for me. That's you that's know? literally should you be know? in the dictionary yeah. for insanity. And, and for me, it was a parent said, "Well, my son's not happy. You know, he's not he's he's not happy. He's you know he's he's uh he's getting bored. He's this. He's that. He's this. And instead of coming to us and expressing these things so we can work as a team." Immediately, well, he's not happy. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the that's the uh, the message that we get from the parents. He's not happy. What are you gonna do about I it? I gotta say though, we don't have that from any of our any of our kids. I really can't. I, I haven't nah, had. Nah, we really because nah. we groomed them. Yeah, we have we no, no. And even from the parents that we had. 
from the new school that came in, they've all felt right into they line. Felt, yep. And everybody's very, very yep. happy. The yep. ones that didn't stay aren't supposed to be here. Now, yep. my wife tells me this all the time, and I get, I get frustrated sometimes because I don't understand why... Um, why the students, why some of the students leave or they, they train a little bit and then they leave. And you know what? I, I see in our school, it's just a no-nonsense school. We train martial arts. We have fun with the kids. You know, before the kids left on their, uh, for Christmas vacation, we had a snowball fight with them, right? We yeah. got these little fluffy snowballs and we had snowball fights. So we do have fun with the kids, you know, but the majority of it is martial arts. Mm-hmm. The majority is, 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 it's a loud school. It's yeah. you know, it's not a very they, quiet they, school. They, it's a they loud work school. Hard. They, they have work, to work yeah. hard. They, they work have fun while they're doing it, but they have to work hard. Yeah, and and you know we have fun with them, but it's what the kids are learning is real martial arts. They're learning real stuff. If you walk into a school and all they have is kids, you got to think twice about what the school has to offer. And if that's a school that you want to bring your kids to, because you know what I mean, or just. And this because is this is because I, it's easier. Yeah, and this is another thing too, right? You have kids coming in, and you have parents bringing the kids, but the parents don't even think about training anymore because the martial arts in today's society has been groomed so much for just kids that a lot of the adults lose their way and think that they can't train. Mm-hmm. Right? You've seen that yes. before too. Yes. You know. Yes. I was like, all right, well, I, I'm too old. And you, you know, you got somebody who was like in the late thirties, <laughs> too 40s, old, too in the thirties. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just, I'll do, you know, I'll just do spinning. I'll do this. I'll do that. You know, and it's just like it's totally uh, asinine. It's like there's no age where you know, where it's, they're saying that you should not be training in any kind of martial arts or self protection. Um, you know, because nobody is going to be the next Jackie Chan or, or Wong Fei Hong or stuff like that. You're looking to do it for you. Yeah. You know, and that's the stipulation. Nobody's going on the battlefield in like six months to, to, to go to war. It's just like that. You're training for you. You're training to protect yourself, to protect your loved ones. You can't put a price on that, and you can't put a time limit on that. And that's where people get, get misconception. Uh, that's nice. That's nice. Thank You're you. giving such a positive message Thank today. Yeah, it's my, it's my ears, my ears. <laughs> it's, it's those little it's bell, 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 bell fears. The bell fears. The bell fears, man. Bell fears, yeah. Yeah, no, so uh, we got a, a bunch of people that are on here, which is really, really nice. And again, guys, thank you so much for, for all the support. Um, if you haven't really checked us out on our uh, on our pages, definitely uh, definitely check us out. Definitely be a part of what we're doing, mm-hmm. especially on the, um, the app page. I'll say it again on the app, on our website. Definitely check us out on the website. Um, definitely check us out on YouTube and be a part of everything yeah. that we have to YouTube, offer. Any videos that you like. Drop us a like, please. Drop us a comment. Yeah. Uh, we're not too... Uh, I try I to answer all know, the comments. I you know, we try, you know, we try to answer as much as we can. We should be answering all of them, but, you know, I do. I, I, answer, yeah. I answer the ones that make sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the people out there that are sending me ridiculous messages yeah. on YouTube, I don't answer them back yeah. because it gets me, it gets me all crazy all messed up yeah, yeah so, so we're about positivity so if you if you give us a, a stupid negative comment and you only got one subscriber on, and no videos yeah, yeah no, know, no videos and one subscriber you might not get a comment and it, you know you might get blocked so. yeah you, you won't get a comment yeah. so um, uh, we, we're about positively promoting yeah know, and I mean if it's a, if and and there's nothing wrong with comments but yeah if, and we get critiques we get criticism yeah all the time I don't I don't mind to be you know? critiqued I don't mind um, for there to be comments or anything like that but if you're commenting you need to have some skills <laughs> right you need to have you some have something to back up your comments. yeah something, something to back, back up yeah your something to back up your comment that's like that's like going to like a that's like going to like a dentist conference and you work at a Chinese restaurant bagging food. Who's going to listen to you? <laughs> Who cares what the bagger is going to do? Yeah. Or what the bagger has to say? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Right? So it's the same concept. If, you know, you want you, all these armchair warriors, you know, you, they go on, they watch. These guys haven't seen their toes because their belly's in the way since they were like, you know, for like 30 years. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't seen your belly or your toes and you haven't touched your toes and you can't breathe while walking up the stairs... Don't leave a goddamn comment. <laughs> Just shut your mouth. Because yeah. you don't know, you you know, what, maybe you had trained when you were like 12? Yeah. You know, so yeah. just 
move, you know? move and, on. And I get it. It's an open forum, and everybody's got <laughs> move freedom, on. Freedom, freedom of speech and yada, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But um, that no. should come with context of... of of common sense. Com- there we go. Yeah, well, you <laughs> of know. common sense and building up people in a community <laughs> that's positive. That should be everybody's present for Christmas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Open up a box yeah, of common, common sense. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's what the main thing for these uh, open forums and things that you know. And even before it was social media, it was the forum thing. And everybody we bashing people on the forums and saying this and saying that. You it know. was harder to find people on forums nowadays, though. Oh, I can find you. You can find people. I can find man. you. This, I can troll hard. I can troll hard enough. I can find you. So you're not as anonymous as you think you are, you know, because <laughs> you have to. You have to. You have to put something up to for you know on to be registered somewhere. Yeah, Google or something you know, like so that. Yeah. Trust me, you're not as hard to find. Hard to find as you think you are. You know, so think about that before them fingers hit them keys and start bashing and bashing people just because you're you know. Your uh, whatever, you know, person sitting in, in your basement with your bedroom slippers on, playing your PlayStation, and you can't get out there and do what, you, do what other people are doing, and you're getting jealous and stuff like that. So, <laughs> think about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! So, so that's cool. So, yeah. So I'm I'm really really excited. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> We're coming to the end of the year, and I'm becoming speechless. Yeah. Um, because uh-huh. if you think about it, yeah, we go through trials and tribulations at the school and stuff like that. But if you, for me, because I'm not, I'm not in your boat, you know, because you, 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 the, you, the grand poobah of this, of this whole thing. Uh, for me, uh, I look around and stuff like that. The school's been around for 22 years. Who? This school. Longer than 22. Are you crazy? Yeah. This school. This school's been around for 27 years. Oh, my bad. Come on, even better than. Come on now. Twenty-seven years. Come on now, almost twenty-eight years. Tw- almost twenty-eight years. The school's been around for almost twenty-eight years. Yeah, yeah, twenty-eight 22. years. Oof. And you know, and yeah, it's been it's been tough. There's been some some tribulations. There's been some ups and downs. You know, but this school has stayed strong. You know, kung fu strong for twenty almost twenty-eight years. That's an accomplishment. Yeah, man. That is a definite accomplishment. You know, so. Uh, you know, yeah, we don't have 200 to 300 students. You know, we don't, you know, you're not driving to Bentley. You know, you know, you got, you don't have like six car garage and, you know, things like that. And you don't have a mansion. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. Like I don't, that, I don't have a garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have a garage. I don't have a garage. Yeah, you got a shed. Uh, yeah, I got a shed. You know, but the things that you have accomplished and the things that you had due to uh, making this from your humble beginnings of a basement school and put it together with just a Home Depot card, you yeah. know, Home Depot credit card is an a testament to your fortitude, your your force of will, and that all comes from your training. Yep. That all comes from your training. Yep. So it's just dr- drive, um, drive and a belief that hopefully one day I would have found a student like you, which I did, thank God. Uh-huh. No, nah, dude, it's true, man. You know what? If, if we're here and we're being happy and... Talking positive. Talking positive, <laughs> you know. It's uh, you, you've been with me through thick and thin, through through all the problems and all the good things that the school has been, you know. Um, you were always the person that uh, that always got the shit because they could talk to you and not to me. Yeah. So you used to get a lot of that, and then you would have to come to me and try to make it make <laughs> it make it make sense to me. Yes. Um, not ripping people's heads off. Yeah. So you. Know, <laughs> So it was, it was, it was, it was a tough road that you know that you, you know that that you took and a tough obligation you know and I took my obligation to yeah, my instructor. People, you know, and people throughout the years are asking me, it's like, oh man, you you over there? When are you gonna do your thing? When are you gonna open your school? Stuff like that. And I was like, you know, and I could have did it, but for me, that it was nec- for most people that to be the most logical thing to do. But for me, that wasn't an easy decision. It was not an easy decision, and I'll tell you why. For you to open a school and be a, a martial arts school owner, people think that it's like opening, uh, uh, opening a deli, or they think it's like opening, uh, you know, a fast food restaurant, you know, because yeah, why? Why? Because people always want to go eat, right? Yeah. But not everybody wants to do martial arts. Nope. You know nope. what I'm saying? Or so, they think that they do. Or they think they do. 
So the problem is you open up your school and you got to sit in your school in the corner and be like, and hope somebody walks through your door. I can't tell you how many times. How many times is that? <laughs> I'd, I'd be sitting out there reading, reading, reading Kung Fu magazine, yeah. waiting you know, for people to show wait up. Waiting for people to show up and waiting for that phone to ring and things like that. And to do that and to have faith in what you're presenting to the public, to hope that somebody's going to come through your door just to instruct is a scary freaking thing. Yeah, it's a scary thing, and it, and that's a huge, huge life altering, altering decision. Yeah, because then you got to work a full time job, and then you got to teach full time. Yep, and you got to find a way to balance the both of them out. You got to take care of all the students when the when when money's shot, when money's short, and money's tight. You can't go to anybody. Yeah, no. <laughs> you got to go to yourself. It's all on you. Every single bit of it, every single moment, every single problem that winches its way through here, it all falls on your shoulders, you know, and you could have all the best students around you, but no matter what, at the end of the day, it all falls on your shoulders. Yeah. And it's something that, you know, it's, it's, it's a rough ride. Yeah. And if yeah. it wasn't for students like you yeah. and students like, uh, you know, like the rest of my black sashes, I, you know, I... I wouldn't be doing this anymore. Mm-hmm. I would. I wouldn't be doing it. I would. I would have my own private lessons that I would be teaching. I'd be going somewhere and teaching private lessons, and you know, probably making the same amount of money than to try to keep, you know, something like this going. You mm-hmm. know, so, um, you know. So yeah. So people don't don't realize the um, not just the, the the amount of money, the, the amount sacrifice. of sacrifice, it's a big and not sacrifice. only the sacrifice, the amount of mental. Uh, stability that you have to deal with this type of stress because yep. you know, like I said like I you know I deal with like a quarter or you know two or uh, one one quarter two quarters of what uh, what what you go through and I see it and I do do my best you know a lot of times I can't do it they help you financially but you know to, to take the pressure off yeah of the teaching and make sure schools running right and overseeing this and overseeing that and you know and not that that's a big help you know but to make that decision to to take it all on yourself yeah it's, yeah. it's a big decision and you know? I and I gotta say you know um, as much you know it's and and having my wife you know there yeah, see, you, you know need, and you need a strong you need uh, a strong wife strong, because strong backing you need be, somebody who's yeah, strong backing because you know what she's she's she always kind of she always keeps me on the path she always keeps me um, scheduled because if it wasn't for her I wouldn't be so scheduled, you know, and she's always forever on that board, always changing stuff mm-hmm. up, always reminding me about stuff that's coming up, reminding me about this and reminding me about that. And it keeps me, it keeps me on the right track. It keeps me going, you know, and uh, without that backing and without having um, a strong wife or a strong husband or a strong significant other or whatever you know without having no those people behind you it, it makes life very very difficult you know and and i gotta say it's you know yeah. you know rachel so to, rachel kicks ass so, so to all the instructors out there that are running their schools and you know and doing doing the right thing and going through all this you know we give you a big uh, uh two a thumbs big two thumbs two up, thumbs and, up. And a, a pat on the back because yep. you know you know exactly what you're going through to keep the keep the keep the dream alive yeah man, man. so you know, if you run the school Make sure you go home and kiss your wife, kiss your husband, kiss your dog, kiss your significant other. Yeah. Um, Thank those people that are, that are yep. supporting you through all that because you know it could be, it could be daunting and you know because you know all the stresses you get in the school, you can come home and start throwing stuff and be like, oh guys, you did this and did that, you know. But you know you don't do it. You, you, know, mm-hmm. you <laughs> train, you, you, you zen out. Yeah. You hit the bag for like an hour yeah. and then you're good. Oh, yeah. oh, things come back into perspective, yeah. man. It's just another day. Without a doubt. Just another day. Yeah. Without you a know? doubt. I, I come home and my wife's right there, you know, listening to everything that happens. Um, she helps me out. You know, she helps me out. She, uh, she, like I said, she keeps me on the path. So, um, I definitely want to do whatever I can to support her as well. And I love you very much, Ray. And uh, thank you for for being there. I want to thank my kids. I want to thank my my brother Belf. Oh. <laughs> my brother Belf for being here. You know, it's um, I gotta say, um, it's a two way street. So, as a as an instructor of a school, 
If you think that people are going to kiss your ass for the rest of your life, Ooh. you are absolutely wrong. Mm -mm. You know? Um, Ain't that much chapstick in the world. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to kiss my fat to ass. Kiss, right? kiss that ass. So, huh? you know what it is? <laughs> It's got to be a two-way street. Yes. You got to be able to care for those to care for those instructors that you've made, to care for those students that you made that are now instructors that are willing to help you through this. You've got to show them that you care. You got to show them that you love them. You got to show them that you're there for them through thick and thin. And uh, without those people, it becomes a very difficult thing. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, Lasher Leo. You know, one of my students have been with me for a really long time. You know, he, he's constantly, he's constantly there. He's constantly helping out, you know, uh, Sifu Nick, Sifu yep. Levy, Sarge, yeah. all these black sashes, you know, Che has been a big help this year, yeah. you know, he's, and these people give their time unconditionally uh -huh. to yep. help, uh, uh, you know, cause people's like, well, motiv money motivates people. Yes. Mo money motivates people only to a certain extent. Yeah. You know, but if you have something that you believe in. There's nothing you won't do for, for for that belief, you know. And we see it time and time. Some of the beliefs are positive, some beliefs are negative. <laughs> but in terms of something positive that's going to benefit you and benefit your loved ones and benefit the society as a whole, there's nothing you won't do for that. And you can't put a price on that. Nope, nope. You definitely can't put a price on. Nope. That. You know you what? Know? You can you can pay people. You can pay people to love you, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> you're paying them. I think that's illegal, though. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. I think but that's it. You know, you, know, you know what I was, you yes, know, I in which term I was saying it, right? So you, you can pay people to love you, right? But it's not real love. No. You know, and you know that people care about you, you know, when you're, when, when the situation that we have where people are helping, they're donating their time and yeah. they're helping. And, and that's what I get into this whole thing with the whole Christmas and the gift giving and stuff like that. I know that's part of the whole ambiance of the whole holiday. But for me, it's just like, and people are going to call me Ebenezer. People are going to call me cheap, you know. But for me, it's just like, you know, the gift giving is secondary. You know, if we can go, go hang out and watch whatever movie and just chill and drink some eggnog and everybody's chilling and laughing and stuff like that. Almond eggnog. Uh, almond, almond eggnog. Yeah, man, Sorry. don't be slipping me that other almond, stuff. Almond eggnog. Don't slip me you that know, other for stuff. For me, that's what the holiday is about. You know, I don't expect anything from anybody. When somebody gives me stuff, I was like, oh, dude, for real? Oh, thank you so much. You know, because in my head, it's not about getting gifts. It's about the gift of of uh, community friendship. and camaraderie and yeah, friendship, friendship and love and family. That's what it's about. You know, so you might say, oh, well, you know, you just, I was like, you know, trust me now. We spend all good guys of money on the kids and, and things like that. And, you know, and the, the kids use that for that magic because uh, they don't really understand you know but also to teach them that it's that time to to give you know and that's what it's really about to give and not just gifts because people you correlate give with gifts <laughs> you know and <laughs> that's, not what, I'm that's not what i'm talking about i'm not talking about giving gifts i'm talking about giving of yourself i'm talking about giving of yourself even if it's just you know you know, just a just a, a a place for somebody to crash to hang out for the holidays. Cause I can tell you this, man. When uh, every New Year's, people just come over to my house and we have a big ass party. And you know, they, everybody could be going over to, over to their family's house, but they come to our house. Why? Cause our house is fun. You know, everybody comes in. They you know, you can drink some eggnog. They watch the ball drop. We have fun. We have laughs. And then I have to kick their ass out and send them home. You know, uh, but to me, that means more. Than buy they're spending all this good got money on, on gifts, you know, that somebody thought, oh cool, there, yeah. and then six months later, it's in it's in the trash, you know. I don't know. That's that's my whole take on the. I like that on, take on, on the gift giving kind of thing. The gift giving crap. Now, now I don't want people. <laughs> I don't want people to think that you Mr. should that you should not be giving gifts. Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge, yes, right? But for me, the gifts have to come from a place of of thought. So if I'm giving the gifts, let's say to my brother here, you know. I'm going to give a gift that is tailored made for him because it means more. So I'm not going to just, oh, let me give C4 a gift. I'm going to get like a $50 gift to Outback. I spent $50 on you. You know, the Outback, to me, is just like, that's, 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 a way, that's a little way out. It's like, it doesn't mean anything. 
You know, so if I'm going to give him a gift, why I'm going to give a gift that means to him. So it doesn't have to be fifty dollars. As long as it means something to him, to him, it's going to be like, oh, dude, this is the best thing in the world. Yep. yep. You know, and people miss that. I think when it comes to the gift giving, people miss that. Yep. Miss that ingredient in the gift giving. Uh, I think I, you know. I think it's uh, I think I think people have missed the boat. Missed the boat. I think you missed the boat, you know? right? Because there's nothing you can't give me that I can't get for myself. Because I work, I'm a working man. I can get it for myself. But if you if you know me, and you know my interests, know what I like, know this, and and know me as a person, then you can tailor make the gift that's going to mean something to me. And it doesn't have to be an extravagant gift, you know. And to me, that means more than getting a gift like that than getting something that's worth two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know? Without a so doubt. That's my. That's what I mean about the gift giving uh, thing for this holiday. My gift. For this holiday, yes, is having the family over tomorrow. That's that's a gift for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's wonderful to have get, them get over. Give people a place where they can just chill. Everybody eat, has get a, fat. Everybody has a good time. And not gossips, be stressed. Everybody gossips, has a good time. Yeah. You know, we all laugh. Everybody watches TV, and it's just family. You know, so to me, that that's just, that's the biggest gift that that I can get. Um, that I would love to share and I would love to see everybody else getting this year. You know, it's, it's really, really important. Yeah. Um, I definitely want to, we've had a bunch of people on here, huh? Oh, nice. Yeah, man. Keith Butler. Oh, last show Leo's watching. That's nice. nice. I hope yeah. you heard all the nice things they said about yes, him. Yeah, he was, he was talking <laughs> you up, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. I definitely want to, uh, we gotta do some advertisement. I think we're getting close to that time already. Damn, really already? Yeah, man. Yeah, we got like ten minutes left, uh, so I'm gonna switch gears here. All right. Um, definitely, uh, definitely want to check out the uh, the website. You know, www.shalanlohan.com. Uh, we got lots and lots of stuff here. I gotta say, we got more stuff, and I, I hate to say this, mm -hmm. but we got more stuff on the app. We got the same amount of stuff. It's just easier because it's on the phone. You know what I mean? The yep. website's awesome, especially if you're on the computer. You can definitely check out all the stuff that we have here, um, all the about, um, all but the. We have a, we have some some stuff you can click on for, for information and stuff like that. Yeah. The only thing I don't have on the website is those, you, those buttons. Where yeah. You can buy you, stuff and things you, like that. But you have everything on here. Yeah. I mean, all of the all of the instructors that I'm pointing over here, like you can like see you where can I'm see pointing it, right? to, right? <laughs> but if you if you look up here. Uh, right there. If oh, you there look you up there, you get to see all the uh, all the instructors, um, how long they've been training for, what their passions are. We got classes, um, all the classes that we have to offer. We have lion dance. If you guys are interested in doing traditional lion dance, if you want to have that, we already have. Just so every you know, not that you guys know or anything like that, but lion dance for this season already. Is uh, Lion oh, Dance goodness. New Year's Oof. Chinese New Year's is it's February this year. is February fifth, and we have 14, 15 Lion Dances already booked. And we ain't even in January. We're not yet. even yeah. We're not even in January that's, yet. That's that's so that's awesome. Yeah, awesome. But it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be really <laughs> it's, rough. It's gonna be rough. We have we have a lot. We're probably gonna be. Ending up this year with close to like 25, 28, maybe even 30 lion dances this year, which oh. is great, which is really, really good. I'm very, very happy. So definitely check out. You got the student corner as well. Um, so there's a lot of information on the student student's corner here. Um, we health and wellness. We have all the contact information that we've been getting a lot of feeds from, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, also, again, we have Instagram. Oh. Our Instagram is growing a lot. Yeah, man. Um, you know, we have 835 followers. That's which, great, though. Eh, it's not. You know, I see a lot of people out there. They got 15,000. They got 20,000. Yeah, they got yeah, 30,000. You know we're not posting bikinis and, and, and booties up in here. No, so. we're not. And yeah. I guess even and because we're not, we have 835. <laughs> I should be happy. I should be happy we got that, right? But, um, but, yeah. but yeah, definitely check out the stuff that we have here. Um, I put up a post with Deadpool with the Merry Christmas, right? We have our specials, our last chance to grab this. Instead of writing Kung Fu, because oh, it corrected a, me, a King, King. King Fu deal. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody saw that, but, you know, I, I, uh, I'm i not going to be teaching you English, so you should be okay with that. Uh, <laughs> we teach martial arts here. Uh, we got the pads and everything else. There's lots of videos. There's lots of pictures over here. 
right over here um, this is the USB I was telling you guys about if you guys get a chance if you're interested and you want to learn something new um, definitely check out the app you have to click on the app yeah. you have the to next download thing, the app. have a page where you can download uh, information right onto your computer right onto your mobile and you'll have it like that so that's the next uh, avenue and it's not too hard to do uh, that's the next thing we're gonna be having for you guys. Yep, and you look, know. look, even Batman, you know, quick Robin. Yeah, we can't be late for Kung Fu class. <laughs> so you know, even Batman, it's it's approved even by Batman's training Kung Fu. Yeah, man, yeah. it's approved by Batman. Yeah. You know, and this this is a great one too, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only black belt to get in two years, right? And yeah. it's true. Don't be fooled and don't waste your time. No, you can go down to Kohl's right now and buy one for two dollars and forty nine cents yep. to hold up your goddamn pants, and that's all it's worth. So. Um, if you want to train, train. And look, hey, this is perfect. Uh -huh. It's even Santa approved. Santa is trans. You know, we got it on lock. On lock with St. Nick. <laughs> with, with St. Nick. On lock with St. Nick. Wearing our sweater. Yep. So you get a chance. You know, this man actually called me up several times to try to get his hands on this sweater. Mm -hmm. He loved it so much. So, um, you know, guys, thank you so much for being a part of it. I appreciate it. Um, we have all of our, uh, let me get back to our regular a regular page here, man. Look at me. Mm. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Just right on top of stuff. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. But guys, again, thank you so much for being a part of uh, a part of our our show. Um, please, 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 if you haven't had a chance, check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Instagram. Yeah, man. Share it out. Like it as much as you can. We really appreciate it. It helps us out. It helps other people out. Yeah. Um, educate the public, man. Educate the public, man. Educate the public. You know, and not just about, about being biased to, to share our stuff, but the people that we have on here share their stuff. Yeah. Because we share their stuff. Yeah. You know, everybody should. And that's the thing. You got to share, 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 share. That's what it's about. It's about love. It's about sharing that's love. Right. Share that love. So uh, www.youtube.com slash Authentic Shaolin Kung Fu. Check us out on the YouTube channel. On Instagram, it's www.instagram.com forward slash Shaolin Lohan. Not Lindsay Lohan, but Shaolin Lohan. Also follow us on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Authentic Shaolin Kung Fu. Check us out. You know, we have lots of information. Again, that app is really chock full of all sorts of goodies, man. So definitely, <clears throat> definitely check it out. Guys, I want to thank you for being here, for being a part. All these people actually watching yeah, on man. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Eve. You know, what, watching. kind of awesome. Yeah, watching the Jelf and watching the, the Belf. Belf. <laughs> you know, so. Uh, and yeah. I can't wait for the for the new year. Uh, you know, chock full of new stuff that, you know, uh, innovative stuff that you've been going to do for the school and mm -hmm. getting, getting the message out there. Um, so can't wait for that. Um New things, you know, we're hooking up with people. We're you know, up with uh, some people with, with social media to give us new ideas and things that all the time. That things that uh, we can be doing to push us, push our message out there, and and, and help help uh, not just grow our school, but grow grow that grow the coalition, grow that community of martial artists, so people can make the right choice when they want to choose a martial art that's right for them to protect themselves, protect themselves with their family, and you know, and that should be the message. When you join a martial arts school, not you know, not what kind of program and belt system and kind of yeah, scheduling the belts. When, when your kids yeah. get cookies, when, when, and, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know how many patches. Yeah, you know it. Uh, the focus should be on the martial arts, not on uh, not on the sizzle, right? It should be walking into Outback and not not listening to the sizzle of the steak, but actually tasting the steak and knowing that it's real steak. Yes. And if you don't eat meat, then it's like tofurkey or whatever you guys <laughs> eat. But you know. Make sure the carrot that you're eating is real yes. and yummy, you know. So uh, that's it, man. I think uh, I think we're coming to the end of our show. I think so. Yeah. So uh, guys, again, um, I want everybody to enjoy themselves. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful Merry Christmas. Have a safe Christmas. I'm sorry that you didn't get to see our Freddy Krueger elf hats, <laughs> you know, but the uh, the green from the green screen is definitely messed it I think up. The message is out there. I think the right so you can see the ears. You can see right? the ears. The ears yeah. are there, man. Yeah. You know, Jewish ears are a little shaped differently than <laughs> than black elf ears, but you know, but you know, but I think you know, it's all green. All good. It's all green and red. We're all the same. So, um, so guys, thank you very much. Thanks for being a part of it. Thanks for sharing your your Christmas Eve yeah, with, with us, man. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Right. Yeah. 
So um, we're going to go home and get some almond eggnog right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good, though, the almond eggnog, man. I'll try it, man. I'll try yeah, it. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. But, yeah. guys, uh, thank you so much for all the love. Thank you. We, uh, we blessings appreciate to everybody. it. Yeah, blessings. Have a very Merry Christmas. And no matter what you do, train real. Train real. Get real. Be a part of it, right? Train hard. Live harder, right? These are all the things that are so important. But for me, just got to live real and be real to yourself. And that's that's my that's my message. That's your, that's your holiday <laughs> message. That's my holiday <laughs> message. So train real, get real, guys. And shout it out!